By the end of this video, you will have an understanding of the characteristic of enzymes. So let's begin with an introduction. A living system controls its activity through enzymes. An enzyme is a protein molecule that is a biological catalyst with three characteristics. First, the basic function of an enzyme is to increase the rate of a reaction. Most cellular reactions occur about a million times faster than they would in the absence of an enzyme. Secondly, most enzymes act specifically with only one reactant, called a substrate, to produce the product. The third and most remarkable characteristic is that some 3,000 enzymes that the cell is genetically programmed to produce regulate cell activity. If even one enzyme is missing or defective, the results can be disastrous. Enzymes are commonly named by adding a suffix, A-S-E, to the root name of the substrate molecule it is acting upon. For example, lipase is the name of the enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of a lipid into three fatty acids and one glycerol molecule. Sucrase catalyzes the hydrolysis of sucrose into glucose and fructose. A few enzymes discovered before this naming system was devised are known by common names, and some examples of these are pepsin and trypsin, which catalyze the hydrolysis of proteins into peptides. As mentioned earlier, enzymes are made of protein molecules bonded to one or more parts called cofactors. This enzyme complex is usually simply referred to as the enzyme. A cofactor is a non-protein substance which may be organic and called a coenzyme. The coenzyme is often derived from a vitamin. The activating role of a cofactor is to either activate the protein by changing its geometric shape or by actually participating in the overall reaction. The overall enzyme contains a specific geometric shape called the active site, where the reaction takes place. The molecule acted upon is called the substrate. The basic mechanism by which enzymes catalyze chemical reactions begins with the binding of the substrate or substrates to the active site on the enzyme, forming the enzyme-substrate complex. The binding of the substrate to the enzyme causes changes in the distribution of electrons in the chemical bonds of the substrate and ultimately causes the reactions that lead to the formation of products. The products are released from the enzyme surface to regenerate the enzyme for another reaction cycle. The active site has a unique geometric shape that is complementary to the geometric shape of a substrate molecule similar to the fit of puzzle pieces. This means that enzymes specifically react with only one or a very few similar compounds. The specific action of an enzyme with a single substrate can be explained using a lock and key analogy. In this analogy, the key is the enzyme and the lock is the substrate. Only the correctly shaped key or active site on the enzyme fits the lock, or in other words, the substrate. Smaller keys, larger keys, or incorrectly positioned teeth on keys are similar to incorrectly shaped or sized substrate molecules, which do not fit the key, or in other words, the enzyme. Only the correctly shaped key opens a particular lock, just as the key to your house will only open your door and not your neighbor's. Enzymes will only react with the substrate that fits into their active site. So to quickly review here, enzymes are protein molecules that catalyze chemical reactions. Enzymes lower the activation energy required for chemical reactions to occur and speed up the chemical reaction in the cell.